Welcome back. We're going to do some porthole. Today's porthole. I have a number of Amiga games. And I'm going to show you some stuff here. This pack is by Yoshitora. Wow, this is really good music. The Amiga is a system that was, um, you know, it was there and it came out and uh, some people played it. But it also had some pretty interesting versions of popular video games. So you're going to be exposed to this, including that alien fella and some turtles. Never been so much fun. Wow. But this music has a gunshot in it. That's cool. I do have some info on these games, but here's, um, I mean, Turrican 2, some would say, is the best game on this system. And, um, it is known for its music. Right now, we're just watching a video, but I'm gonna get this thing set up. Alright. So, we'll start with Turrican 2, but then we'll go to, um, after that, we're gonna go to the porthole games. Yeah, this looks actually really good. Good games start here. Well, I'll be the judge of that. All right, here we go. Some Amiga games. Uh, one thing we don't have is audio, however, and that's kind of half the battle, isn't it? You have to hear the Street Fighter 2 kazoo music. Oh, we will. Okay, sound. Default audio device. Um. Hmm. Game sure ain't working. I might have to unplug it and plug it back in. No, that's that's real weird. Uh, I don't know why the audio isn't happening. Headphones? Software failure. Very nice. Okay. Do you not check stuff before streaming? Yeah. I do. Legend, the will of God. In fact, I did, and I made sure this all, like, I didn't check every game, but it worked. Like, things definitely worked. Uh, Got the inputs all correct. This is the crack group. <laughs> oh no. Well, let's try a different game then. At least we know we have audio. I know that I have controls. Turrican didn't work, but I might be loading the wrong thing. So. Here you go. Alright, well, Turrican's not working, but we do have Street Fighter 2. This is the intro. This is, um, a bad port. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I have to swap the disc two times? 
Hang on, I might need to watch the video on how to swap discs. You just put disc two in there. Okay, that should be easy enough. Alright, let's see if Street Fighter 2 on the Amiga is terrible. Yes, it is! That took absolutely no time to make a judgment, because this is really, really not what this game is supposed to look like. It is... Oh, it's crusty, and it's really, really, really laggy. And when I think Street Fighter, I think lag and crust. The core tenets of this game... Obviously, the visuals were downgraded for the Amiga, but it's more than that. Oh, what is that instrument in the right ear? It sounds like a fly. <laughs> it sounds like a fly that got into the recording booth, and they just left it. Oh yeah, this is borderline unplayable, chat. Not that I'm all that great at Street Fighter, but this is not even like... Off key. Oh, uh, God. So here on Porthole, look at that veiny versus. Oh man, why is it like veiny like that? Okay, we're not playing as Chun-Li after all. Let me try to Hadouken. I know how to Hadouken. Wow, how did they okay this for release, though? Seriously, chat, this is not playable. Very, very unfortunate port. Lowered standards. PC ports had no standards back then. Well, actually, they still don't. No, oh, barely. Same reason there's Mega Man for DOS. Mega Man DOS is pretty painful, too, but this might be actually worse. And I can't believe they let the music just stay out of key. Alright, we'll continue with the bad stuff, because that seems to work, unfortunately. Um, here's Ninja Turtles' first version. Very, very good voiceover. Very professional. Did you see the turtle grow from, like, a little turtle? That was the Price Master that delivered the intro. Type anything and press return. this. Please wait. No. No. Please wait, Triad. How long does it take to load? This isn't... This isn't normal, is it? 
Oh my god, that's the wait time! Wh wow! No way! Maybe it's because it's like not the original or not on original hardware, but that is very, very long and unacceptable load time. Chat, it's even worse than you think. If I told you how you have to jump, Amiga emulators will replicate the loading speed. Understood. Chat, the jump is the same button as using the sword. You just have to hold it down. This is a one-button game. So in order to jump, you have to hold down the, the attack button and then press the attack button while you're in the air to jump and attack. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need some good games to cleanse this stink after this, because this is... Yeah, this is... I just feel bad for the Ninja Turtles. They deserve better. Amiga joysticks only had one button. Yeah, this might be... A-yes. Might be a little A-yes. Oh, we're in the sewer again. We were, well, we're, we're, we were. And there's just more sewers and more loading times. That's, that's what the game is, I guess. This actually makes some of that stuff I played on the plug and play even better. This port is infamous because you literally cannot complete it. There's a jump in the sewers you cannot clear. Oh, so it also wasn't playtested. I know things were different, and like, people were more accepting of, like, load times in, uh, the late 80s, early 90s and everything, but... Why is April like an alien gray? I noticed that in the image as well. Very bosmous. However, she's gray. What the fuck? Do you need minerals? Gray Leno's first show it had Grapril on. True story. It was the first guest. So here's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles' second version. So that was the first version you just saw. Here's the second version. This is the impossible jump. Wow, you had that on... Okay, yeah, that does look pretty impossible. Knowing how the game plays, sure. Licensed from Konami. The NES has the same jump. No, it doesn't. Okay. Conflicting information. That's only in the DOS version, the impossible jump, and only in the US version. I understand. Yeah, there it is. There there it is, the weird alien in Grapril. It, she's like purple. Why is she purple? Cowabunga dudes. They spelled nunchucks twice incorrectly. Well, it's the same game, but it looks a little bit better. 
This apparently was, um, released in Europe. Oh, the load times are way better. Oh! Check this out, chat. In order to jump, you press up. Wow, they made an improvement. Um, it's still bad. Why are there now, like, five times the amount of enemies on screen? There's, there's actually sub-weapons, too. I don't have any at the moment, but it looks like there's sub-weapons. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's still pretty bad, and the frame rates are not great, and it's still very sluggish, but it's, like, way better than the first edition. Imagine you ask for TMNT on the NES for Christmas, and you get both of these instead. Oof. And then you rescue April, and she's, like, totally gray. It's just, just an imposter. It's not even really her. I think this is the way you play this game. You just... You just go blow for blow. <laughs> Man, they really accentuate her features for some reason. I wonder why. Like, you can barely fit in there. That's like a one pixel difference. Reminder, this was someone's introduction to Turtles. These amorphous, weird, alien fellows. Listen, I don't remember the turtle stuff. I used to watch it. I had some of the tapes. I had the, you know, I watched the cartoons. I had some of the toys. I don't know who they are, these aliens. They're Krang's friends. Did they look like this? Or is this, like, more creative liberty, or did they just look like this? They did. Okay, so then, yeah, I'm a fake turtle fan. It didn't extend beyond me being five years old, chat. I, I, I know that's, you know... I guess I did play the turtle game that came out last year, or two years ago. Here's another, uh, port. Since I- this isn't really fully a porthole, this is like half a porthole segment. But, um, we're gonna start with the porthole. And thus we have Altered Beast, which was a Sega game. And was actually a good game on the Genesis. This- did this start on the Master System? Or was this a Genesis game chat? Arcade? It was Arcade Cabinet first. Why Fabulous Groove? That's when the cannibalism started. Chad, I got this. Rise from your grave!
I was muted. Sorry. Um, what I was trying to say was, what I was saying, there are some doubts that this game is good. And, um, yeah, well, this port is terrible. It makes me think the original Altered Beast was, like, a masterpiece. And this dude just looks naked. And sounds naked. But, uh, yeah, no, this, this game is not that am amazing, but, um, and I've played it plenty of times on some segment on Sunday here and there. But I will say, if there is any doubt that Altered Beast is a decent game, play this, then play original Altered Beast in the arcade or on the Genesis, and you'll be like, wow, what a good game Altered Beast is. He's naked until he turn. Yeah, he has to turn into the wolf or the animal man. I don't know how to do that. Wait, is that animal? Power up. I'm trying to turn into a werewolf, chat. I don't think it's happening. Yeah, just do the splits and get that get them legs wide open. I need more power. No, clearly we need more sun. We, this dude needs to go and get some more... More sun, more tan. Make me an offer. Yeah, this, this is not fun to play at all. I am very much struggling to have any fun playing this right now. I just wanted to play it for a little bit so we could turn into the werewolf. <laughs> Let me just uh, have these big, strong creatures come to me while my legs are spread. That'll show them. Hey, Bubby, it's me, Altered Beast Man. Check me out in the corner. I'm just kicking real high. There we go, chat. Now we're naked. Yeah! Look at that shit! All of two frames a second. It just, yeah, he sticks his ass right out when he's shooting his firepower. Here's what I've learned about this port so far. It doesn't get better. That's it. That's all I've learned about it. It's dude, a pile of shit. Look, he's even got corn. There's even corn in there. Oh yeah, no, no, I'm definitely the angry video game nerd now. This is fucking disgusting. Actual pile of shit with corn in it. I hate to say it, but that head just sucked the power out of this dude.
man. Well, that's Altered Beast on the Amiga. Whew. I, th I think that was... I can't even actually press anything else. Oh, it just needed to load. Wretched graphics. <laughs> These, like, ball dragon enemies. And hogs? Is that a hog? This is, like, just such a bizarre game, it, and it plays like shit, and looks and sounds like shit, but yet... Yet, there is some weird charm to it. I don't know. It's- it's really bizarre. Unfortunately, we also have to see Castlevania get fucking bastardized, so... Konami was just, uh batting a thousand with their Amiga ports, weren't they? Okay, so f what the fuck? Is, is that a Belmont? Why is there a wizard with sneakers? What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we sure that wasn't just a crack screen or an Amiga screen of like, like some kind of logo? Shocking. That's the exiled Belmont Kremrold. Their password for the mission. Well, here. Okay, this is also not Castlevania music. Okay. You have to hold the button. You have to hold the attack button. Yeah. These ghouls are different than the usual ghouls. Why did they remake the ghouls to be barefoot freaks? And as usual, you have to press up to jump. You know, because of the one button. It really speaks to the strength of this composition, that the music still sounds kind of decent, even if it's getting butchered in the arrangement. Even a simple task like trying to whip... Oh, there's the Panthers, right? Just trying to whip um, a, a candle is a problem. Ah! Hey Dracula, it's me, death again. Uh, uh, Belmont is entering the castle. Ah, my minions will make fine work of him. A uh, quick work, rather. Well, you see, Dracula, again, the budget cuts have kind of, uh, well, we got a bunch of barefoot freaks hopping around. They're not that powerful. And, uh, the panthers are rotting, and they, you know, they barely actually move. <sighs> Death, this is really bad. We're in trouble if this Belmont gets anywhere near my inner sanctum. Well, you see, don't worry about that. We put a bunch of poison in his meat. So he kind of can't jump or attack or do very much of anything. He's kind of useless. Death, I knew I could count on you. <laughs> uh, 
No! You see, Dracula, in order to jump, he has to press up on the D-pad, which is, as you know, very, very frustrating. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, he, he just doesn't really have a lot of attack options. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. We also put some Tetris blocks in the foyer. I hope you don't mind, Dracula. Uh, thought it looked real nice. Wow, the mermen are really fucking weird looking. Chat, what is wrong with those mermans? They, they, they're actually like fish pasted. I just destroyed the wall meat by accident. Vinny, please look at how Dracula looks. Oh, I will, I will. The mermen are so fucking weird. They're like fish heads on top of humanoid forms. Death, what is wrong with these mermen? Again, Dracula, we went to the fish market. We performed some magic on them. Uh, they're a little fucked up, but don't worry about it. They're gonna do just fine because Simon is completely useless. They're just like flesh-colored fish on top of humanoid bodies. Yeah, we thought they were pretty intimidating. Death, those are supposed to be zombies. What is wrong with these fraggle rock looking freaks? We don't even have boss music. Why does the bat sound like a Roblox character going oof? Again, the budget cuts. You know, we lost a lot. We were doing some crypto and, you know. You know, we hired Tommy Tellerico to work on some of this and uh, it didn't work out so great for us, allegedly. Death, are you sure he even composed any of the music for this game? I mean, have you heard it? Yeah, this is bad. There's the, the oofs. There's everything about this is just the worst possible. I thought... I thought I played some bad ports of Castlevania. This might be the worst. The only thing it has going for it is some of the graphics are custom. <laughs> well, they're all custom for the Amiga, but they look like shit anyway. Oh God, the Medusa heads. Oh God. Well, we just ripped the heads off of some old ladies down at the town and we just cast a spell on them and they just fly at El uh, Belmont and that's about it. Death, I will never leave this castle again. Things have only gotten worse around here since I've been gone. You want to buy an NFT? Real cheap. <sighs> Fine. Chat, I want to see uh, Dracula. You can actually glitch the game to be easy. This is the alleged Dracula. No, this is not Dracula. No fucking way. Did they not understand the source material? I, I, I look like a clown! I am no longer intimidating, Death! What have you done to me? <laughs> you see, Dracula, we combined a clown with a catfish, and uh, that's how we resurrected your spirit uh, into an eternal uh, strife and torment creature. Is that okay? No! You're not fungible, at the very least.
All right. Well, that was fun. Um, this is terrible. Battle Toads. It's a little farty so far. One day, Angelica and Pimple were out cruising. Imagine being named Pimple. I mean, there's some redeeming factors in the music, to me. Let's just get the thing here, the gameplay. Press fire while standing still to attack. Move plus fire equals jump. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh god. It's real. We don't get music? No. Gotta be careful not to move and attack, otherwise you'll just jump. Yeah, so you have to really just stand still. They were designing the Amiga... Like... Yeah, do you guys feel like we need another button on this uh, here joystick? What? No, probably not. We just need one. Just the one is good. Yeah, alright, yeah, yeah, we'll get the one in there. Mm hmm. But what do they do if they've got to do like a jump and an attack? Oh, I don't know. Make them not do it at the same time. It's the same. But and does the same thing. It's fine. It's, uh, Clive Nobunga worked on the Amiga. Even though it is an American system, they hired Clive Nobunga. Someone said to, um, get to the, uh, the third level. Try pausing. I want to see if the thing remains. You can't pause. There's no pausing. What do you mean, pause? I don't think I'm going to get to the third level for the, the tunnel. Did you own an Amiga as a kid, or were you a good son? No, I did not have an Amiga. I, I only had Nintendo. Regular Nintendo, as it was called back in the day. <clears throat> had regular Nintendo. And then Super Nintendo. And Game Boy. Because, you know, money was tight. And systems and games were expensive. I would get maybe a couple games a year. So that's where I got really into some games over others, because I just played them a million times. Then I got the Nintendo 64, then a PlayStation 1. That's when I branched out. Then a computer. So then I really branched out. And then, um... Just kind of started buying, you know, stuff with my own money. But I didn't have an Amiga, I didn't have anything like a Commodore 64. My cousin had a Commodore 64. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to go through these too quickly, but there's not really a whole lot else I want to do with that game, and I can't get to the third level. I'm not going to even try. So, here's another classic Konami port to the Amiga. This is Super C. Oh, okay. Nice of an alien to invite us for dinner. I was told to let the intro play, so we're gonna do that.
What are their names? I don't remember. Arnold and Sylvester? There they are. Really good faces. Lance and Jimmy. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know what they said. I, I heard... What is this place? And then I heard... Ah! And that was it. That's all I heard. Nice of the princess to invite us for a picnic, eh, Lance? Uh, I don't want to... Is there a way to not do... I think... Is this computer controlled? Oh, the mouse controls it! The mouse controls the second player. I mean, these people are getting fucking blasted into blood and bits. Each bullet contains a small nuclear warhead. The mouse controls are so fucking bizarre. I just pressed the wrong button somehow to get it into uh, a multiplayer thing. It's not as bad as Castlevania so far, but any infinite number of things could make this worse um, in time. It wouldn't take much effort to fuck this up. Chat, do you need to refrigerate butter? I, yeah, I think you kind of do. I mean, it can stay out for a while, no, but... It'll melt. Depends on if it's salted or not. Oh, okay. You don't need to. Oh, I always thought you did. I always get freaked out about, like, jars of marinara sauce, because it's like, you don't need to refrigerate them until you open them. Just gonna get a little botulism still. So this is not as terrible. Uh, it's not great, and it barely feels like Contra, and things like enemies are just like... Okay, no, no, we, now we have some problems. We, uh, we had some minor problems before, now we have some serious problems. Also, you can't aim up without jumping. So, great choice to have the first enemy be an enemy you have to actually aim up at. Oh man. We're going to try Turrican again. Chat, for those with headphones, are the instruments in the left channel in your left ear louder than your right ear? Thank you. Just wanted to make sure. Alright, great music for Turrican so far. And now we've got gameplay. So perfect contrast. This is no longer a port. This is how you do a game like Contra on the Amiga. No 
Um, I already have something to complain about. Camera. I don't know why the camera is being pushed so far. Like, I have to walk to the right side of the screen. Okay. I mean, that's not great for a game like this, but, uh, yeah, compared to Contra, this is a miracle game. The animations are fluid, the gameplay is as good as it could be. Um, you know, you're jumping with the up button still. But it's so much better, I just wish that the camera wouldn't... I wish that the camera wouldn't, um... You know, you need to see what's ahead of you. So, why does it stick so far to the right? It's strange. Well, to me, it just proves that Amiga could have good games. I mean, we're going to see a couple more good games. So this is where the, the porthole turns into me just checking out some Amiga classics that are actually good, because that's what was included in this pack, and that's what I'm going to do. Just be honest, this is a good-ass port. This isn't... is this a port? Or is this an actual, like, Amiga game? This is an Amiga game that was ported to other things, I think. So, yeah, is it a good-ass port? Um, it's not a port. Is it a good-ass game? Yes, but for, again, for a game where you need to see what is in front of you, I'm, I'm really sad. That's the only flaw I can find right now, is, is the fucking camera. It's a shame, too, because I really want to like this more. I guess the, the wind is trying to get me to go in a different direction. Next save state is a shmup section. Okay. Oh, yeah. This actually utilizes more than one button. I think this music is a pastiche of this genre in a good way. Or maybe I've heard it before. Laser! This is great. This is really good. This play is good. Looks good. Sounds awesome. I'm into this. So I wouldn't feel too bad if I got Turrican on the Amiga as a kid. I would have, I would probably appreciate this as opposed to any of those ports. Oh, look how big that laser is. My god. Now, is the robot called Turrican? Is it a robot, or is it like Samus? Just a, a dude... A dude robot. <laughs> it's like Robocop. Does he shoot people in the dick like Robocop? The suit is called Turrican. Turrican. Alright, well, I could just play this for fun, because that's what I'm having. Um, so, yeah, I want to be as fair as possible. And I think... This game... Kinda kicks ass. There are plenty of ports of that version, but this is still considered by many to be superior, especially in the music department. Now, this is Jim Power in Mutant Planet. Side-scroller like previous one. Music was done by the same guy. Okay. Wait, I know this music. I don't know this music. That was just a great riff.
You are here. Kind of sounds like someone retching whenever I shoot. Oh boy. Well, the camera's better. The gameplay's not better. It's also a one hit, and you're dead kind of deal. It's a little stiffer uh, gameplay wise, but. Speaking of stiff, this dude looks like he's cranking one out every time he shoots. Good for him. You know, I'd like bodybuilding when I do the lift, the pump. I shot a shot a dog for some reason. I don't know why. Shooting. Interesting color palette. Like, the, the game has its own visual style, and uh, it sounds nice. Are those Romans? Making the most out of that one button, you can charge an at um, your attack. That sucks. I think there's a limited number of charges, so I just wasted a couple. Yeah. I know what it sounds like to me when he shoots. Oh well. Decent enough game. This one's called Speedball 2. Like the drugs? Sport game straight from Demolition Man. <laughs> mm. It's a little farty. Wait, what year? I need to find out what year this takes place. It's gonna say like 2022, isn't it? It's no longer... Oh man, just... I missed it. It's okay, chat. Loading game. Retro just posted this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much... Weirdly accurate. That's a long load time. Okay. I mean, there's no way I'm actually going to be able to spend the time required to figure this out. It has a whole ass league. There's another save state. Get ready. I feel like this was more of a genre in um, the 90s. Like, Fake sports, like future and fake sports. This one involves a ball and a field and getting the ball to one end of the field. Hmm. 
It it's like get, get ready. hockey football. Metal hockey football. Sure is sport. Yeah, that's sport, all right. Except there's like pinball bumpers in the in the middle of the field. I kind of, you know what? I think I probably would watch sports if they did shit like this in real sport. Like just put strange like devices and bumpers on the field. Maybe like a flamethrower. Doesn't have to kill him. Just a little bit. Just can kill him a little bit. But I mean, like it would be fun to watch if every week had some different obstacles. Super Frog is next. This is made by Team 17, who made Worms. It's frog music. That is definitely frog music. Bo, 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 do, do. It is a little Rugratsian. Which is, I don't think... Has anyone said Rugratsian? This is an infamous German meme game? Why is that? Someone just make that up. People are like now inventing Germa streams that don't exist. Wow, you are fast. Um, jumping is once again done by pressing the up button. some orange soda. He played Super Frog, but it wasn't this. It wasn't Amazing Frog, was it? That fucking weird physics game? No. I don't know what I have to do to get up there. Oh, I can throw... Eyeballs? Wait, what? I don't know how to actually hit enemies with it. I mean, if you're gonna make a mascot game, you could do a hell of a lot worse than this. Uh, you could do a hell of a lot better, too, but for the Amiga, this is uh, acceptable. It's it, at least fluid. Like, it controls a little fast, but it's, it's good. I don't... I don't think I'd want to play the whole game, but just kind of seeing it for a little bit. It, it reminds me of some of those SNES platformers I used to rent with the atrocious level designs, though. Like, I didn't realize how much I took Mario World uh, level design for granted until I started just renting whatever the fuck trash I could find on the Super Nintendo. Just overly complicated, overly layered levels that are just a nightmare to try to navigate. There's a game coming up in a moment that actually is that. I didn't frog properly. Mortal Kombat 2. Zool was an Amiga game. Yep, that's what we're gonna play, Zool. This port comes on four floppy disks. To swap around after each battle. Everything is done with a single button. The only really good thing about this is the music. Oh, I didn't even consider the single button. Shit. 
if you wanted a fatality, you had to swap discs. This is... What? Insert disc 2. What a nightmare. How do I do this again? Every screen is a different disc. You can go straight to the gameplay save state if you want. Oh, I didn't even see that there- wait, I don't think... You included one. Mate. No, there's just one save state. How do you disk swap uh, again? You just drag it over to the screen because that's not working. It wants disk three now. Okay. These voices. Awful. Just awful. Yeah, I mean, there's some moves that are recreated as best as can be with one button. I'm sure there's combos that I don't know. But, uh, it's- it's pretty rough. I mean, to me, this- this should have gone in the bad ports section. It's not as bad as the other ones by any means, but it's pretty fucking bad. I say combos, I mean, like, special moves. Oh boy. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I think we can move on comfortably. Chaos Engine is next. Two player top down shooter with character progression known as Soldiers of Fortune in the US. I just think about the Amiga as like, what if I had lived my life as a child with Amiga? Like, I think of this as, like, a split dimension. What the fuck is this story? Oh, well that's actually really cool. But yeah, the left channel of these Amiga games is, is overpowering. I mean, really good pixel art. <laughs> I, look at that dude, he looks like he's chiseled out of metal. Is that an elephant? Okay. I mean, this is okay. This isn't too bad. And it works well with one button. You just hold the button for a special attack when that happens. When you get it. I mean, I- listen. That fucking game that I was playing yesterday, Death Must Die, is ostensibly a one-button game. It's just dodge. So, I mean, I don't mind games with one button, as long as they're addictive and fun or whatever. But, uh, you know, for a game like Mortal Kombat, oof. Safe. 
This is like, yeah, it reminds me of Smash TV a little bit. And like a million other games, Akari Warriors, but like not shit. Food special power up! Die anyway. All right, Zul. Now, I did not realize that Zul originated on the Amiga. I had rented this game, and this had the most frustrating levels, but I rented it twice. Or more, even, maybe. So I might have rented this game a couple times. Uh, never completed it. It was extremely frustrating, but I liked that the little dude reminded me of Mega Man. And that's just the Super Nintendo version, so, uh, yeah. I'm- I'm preparing. I'm ready. This game, I think, is still loading. I mean, the loading is part of the experience, isn't it? It's like a movie that's bad because there's better movies out there. I... I see what you mean, chat member. That's, that's not a bad analysis. I'm pressing buttons. Well, the benefit of the Super Nintendo version is that there are no loading times. Now, we find out if the Amiga load times were worth it for Zool. I mean, it probably has slightly better animations, maybe? I, I kind of can't tell. Oh, that's a frustrating thing to do in this. Oh god, without a jump button, without a dedicated jump button, wall jumping is not great. Yeah, so this isn't worth the load times. Uh, also, no music. So Super Nintendo version has music. This does not. Wonderful. Apparently Ninja Bread Man was supposed to eventually... was supposed to be a Zool game, but the licensing fell through. I've learned just now in chat. Maybe I knew this fact previously, but... It's weird, because again, the only reason I have any nostalgia for Zool is because I rented the game a couple times, and I was too young to know that games could suck. I was like six, seven, whatever I was, probably seven. So this was one of those games that just kind of was at Blockbuster. So, you know, five bucks, got nothing to lose by spending five bucks on a game like this. Oh yeah, I hit every spike. So, a lot of loading time. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's play more Zool. Wow. Honest to goodness, we're gaming. Or is it? No, it's goodness gracious. We are playing. We are gaming. It, it's not terrible. The ending was also included, but for the music, I suppose. The fuck are these landscapes? The mixing on these drums rivals that of Led Zeppelin. 
<laughs> oh man. Do you think Zool, once he got home, created little Zools? Oh, there's already some little Zools. More little Zools. I do remember that guitar riff. And the music is cool. It's Zool. But yeah, I do remember that. This is called Gods. Two. Wonderful. <laughs> Sounds a little bit like 90s Bowie. And this is before 90s Bowie. Okay, you're gonna tell me those muscles were possible without some roids? Ask the rock, allegedly. And when I'm, I'm talking about the rock, I mean just a rock. They go and talk to a rock in these days. They just go to like a, an actual stone statue. I just loaded the save state. What? Is this like Lost Vikings? This game got a remaster on the Switch? Uh, okay. A whole lot of, like, echoey sound effects and screams, but again, no music is weird. Why do you have a jar of boiling piss for a life meter? Only through piss do we receive our strength. It is that we are strong through piss. Remember that. I mean, listen, this guy wouldn't pass a piss test. Why did I drop the key? That's frustrating. Uh, really clunky gameplay, but I guess it's going for the Lost Vikings puzzle kind of thing. Weird. Can you say... Can you please say, can you smell what the cock is cooking in the Robert Cop voice? Hmm. I guess that kind of ruins it, doesn't it? I feel like by me saying it in my actual voice, I kind of ruined it. And now it won't have as much of an impact, so I'm sorry, I can't- I can't do that for you. However, there's another game called Virocop. Nineteen ninety five. Viro wants an Oreo. 
Anthony, this is the perfect music for you to say the line. Colin Seaman. Can you sm- Uh, I can't do it. The chat member who requested that line just said, do it, it's my birthday. You can't prove that. Also, I don't do birthday requests. Can you smell what the cock is cooking? I did that because I wanted to do that. Please note my Robocop voice has gotten worse. I noted that it was just starting to sound like Dan Aykroyd from Coneheads, but deeper. Do as I say, or there will be trouble. Weird fucking game. On a pool table. Just sports and pool and but you're a little fellow and you shoot. I don't I don't know what the fuck is happening here. Alright, I mean it's something. It's definitely it's its own game and it doesn't control like shit. Maybe one of the better playing games of the night, actually, I would say. I don't know why this dude is a cop. <laughs> like, it says Viro Cop? What is he? What? What? What does that mean? Battle Squadron. I don't know what you just said. They absolutely go mental with the music in these games. At the very least, we're hearing some fucking tunes. For a game that looks m more professional, hearing that stock explosion sound effect is kind of funny to me. for impact with those sound effects. Uh, this is another kind of generic but fine game. There's a million of these games at this time, so, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. because it's starting, uh, it's, the brain rot is starting to set in. There's only a couple more Amiga games left, like, three? And then, um, we will do Getting Weird with it. And I got some very interesting ones.
All right, next is Global Gladiators. Every game has had some form, not every, but a good chunk of them have had some form of, like, going hard with the intro music. Is that Tommy Tellerico? That sounded like... That sounded like him. Yeah! Get some McDonald's. I've played this. I've played this. Not on the Amiga, mind you. On something. Whoops. I want a Big Mac, and I don't know why. That's weird. Yeah, can I get a Big Mac with extra slop, please, animal style? Mickey Mouse. Yeah, you just, like, shoot boogers with your ketchup. Or loads. Whatever, whatever you think they are, it doesn't matter. Game, it doesn't specifically tell you. And one more game. Benefactor. Did you know that Tommy Tellerico was the first video game developer to work with Ronald McDonald himself, don't you know? I heard, I heard he met the Dalai Lama too, and it totally wasn't a wax statue. Final Fantasy 7-ish. Afraid of fungi. Apparently, okay, so the name is Benefactor. Apparently the guy's name, the main character, is called Ben E. Factor. Okay, so this is another puzzle game. Oh boy. Oh boy. I am- I'm really not enjoying these controls. And there's like... The button jumps, but also another button jumps. There's a short hop jump if you press up, and then there's a flip if you press, like, A. The music is cool. Yeah, this- this is pain. Oh, this is pain to control. Whew. All right. Gotta... I gotta stop playing that now. All right, well, that was a uh, porthole, but also... It wasn't completely porthole. It was also just Amiga. There's definitely ports, but there was also just, you know, Amiga. Um, we do have some covers. If you want to take a look at the covers of some of these games, like Turrican 2, look at that. Jim Power. Speedball. Man, these are some fucking covers. Super Frog even looks dope. And slimy. Virocop. There's Battle Squadron. There's the karate one. 
which you just teabag a whole lot. And there's Benefactor, which the cover makes it look better than it is. So some, you know, I mean, I've been, I, you know, I'm a little tough on the Amiga because those ports were so terrible. It's not great. Some of the games I played were not the best, but it was, it was, some of them were okay. And, um, some of them were, were painful. However, you know, this says all of the things that need to be said. I think. Just also, if you want to see what the Amiga looked like, there's two buttons on there. Oh, hang on a minute. There are different Amiga joysticks. Some of them have more than two. The buttons all did the same thing. Yeah! Cool. 